welcome to a new video. Now, somebody said to me, why don't you look at Nariba? So I am here at South Caith at Wonder Home Caravans. And yes, there is a Ariba here because Ariba deals. Now, these guys will be shutting soon. Story of my life. But, um, I'm going to have a quick look at this. It's the Touring 542, it's a 2023 model and it is up at 32,860 quid. Now Ariba, as we know, have got a bit of a following. Um, but what they've been doing lately, Heimer, is putting these into more dealerships. And I don't know if that's a very good idea because all of a sudden these are becoming more sort of plentiful. And I think part of the allure of them was the fact was that actually they were quite scarce to get a hold of and I just wonder if they'll sort of flood the market with this not everybody wants an Ariba pot top it is to a bit of a special customer now at the show I did say about these sort of things about this chrome I'm not keen on that at all um, like this big sturdy gram handle I mean the thing is these things are well made there's no doubt about it there's a locker here at the back look at that sort of big bumper of the chrome it all feels very solid and of course, you know, it's been built like this for, go oh, 60 years. So, let's have a quick look. Let's have a see what we think. And this is a, a four berth. I'm going backwards, I'm going to fall over if I'm not careful. Complete with obviously a gas locker at the front. I'll whiz you round again. There's my flash gun, don't let me forget it. And again, they've got these chrome wheel trims here. But you can put your, your, your uh, table on the outside here. And again, there's a locker at the back. An awning light. And a fuel pull-out awning. Right, let's go in. Right, now, I'm on my cheap microphone today, I'm afraid. Um, the batteries have gone down on the other one. Now, this is the fixed bed version. And... To be quite honest, you know, a lot of people will like this because it's got lots of storage underneath there and everything. Anyway, um, so fixed bed and basically at the bottom end here, because it's really classed as a two berth um, and not really a three, but you could sleep somebody at the end here I suppose. Um, so you could leave, obviously you've got that front bed area there. That, um, made up and um you can have your meals down here so anyway let's 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 start off over this other end right okay so we've got this here big double bed quite like these lights here you've got some overhead storage here when he knows how to pull them out or whatever look at this absolutely wooden that's it not bad quite deep what you do feel is that this is very solid there's no doubt about it um, you've got the pop top here of course which comes down very easily for when you're towing but there's lots of headroom I'm not very tall but there's plenty of headroom in here uh, the cushions I wouldn't say are overly thick but they should provide enough comfort on a good night's sleep and of course there's storage underneath there is blown air heating but it's only gas not dual fuel um, and we've not seen a heater like that fit in a caravan in a UK caravan for some years now but anyway, yeah, it should provide enough uh, comfort. Uh, neck curtains, uh, fly screens and blinds, of course. And, um, yeah, some ordinary curtains as well, thrown in. So, let's have a quick look at the kitchen area. Of course, you don't get an oven. Uh, you do get just a two-burner uh, hob. Um... You get a fridge, of course. There we go. And some storage here. And, of course, uh, main sockets. A bit of a funny place to put these things here. They need, really, to be sort of up this end, probably. Uh, I would say. At least you can get a kick. It seems, you know, what do you say? I think so. Um, draw through your knives and forks. Storage underneath there. Um decent enough sized sink unit uh, obviously window here and again it all feels quite nicely planned out now while we're at it we'll go across to the wardrobe 
Uh, again, for two people, this would be okay. It's probably big enough. Not a lot of hanging room there. But then there's all the electrics in there, all of your gubbins. Obviously no TV aerials on these. And also, um, obviously no microwave. Right, uh, let's go in this bottom end. I'll leave the washroom till last. So you've got light switches here. You've got your control panel. And here, of course, you can two can sit here in comfort. You've got this nice big window ledge here because obviously of the... Um, shape of the van and again uh, main socket and I think there's a USB socket there as well yeah it's two main sockets there and a nice little pouch type idea to put your bits and bobs in again decent enough storage overhead uh, quite deep there you know deep that way not very sort of in height but lovely should be fine for a lot of people's needs again just feels very solid and those little handy pouches at the front end there too Right, um, let us go. I quite like that. There's a little, little coat up there, and this little bit of padded bit. Let's go into the washroom, then we'll have a quick summer. Right, now then, here we go. And the washroom is surprisingly large. Uh, you've got a decent sized window there, which is obviously your only form of ventilation. That's no, no big deal. Uh, a great nice little hand basin here. Big tap which combines as your shower too um, obviously your mirror a little bit of a ledge and some storage under here which looks quite good and a fixed electric cassette loop so it's not a swivel and it's a curtain so obviously some people might not like that but there's not a lot you can do a shelf up here quite handy and some lights underneath the ceiling there and it's all very nice and well planned out. As I say, it's typical, it feels, it does feel very sturdy. It feels all nicely finished too. Um, so, you know, for your 32 grand, you are getting a very well finished van. And as, let's face it, there's not a lot of competition at all, is it, to, uh, to compare it with, really. Uh, Ariba's half got what it takes when it comes to that um, draw appeal. So... Here we go. Uh, is it worth the cash? Let's I mean, have a quick think. Well, the good thing about these is you do get a good resale value on them. Well, you do at the moment because I've said, you know, I think if they're not careful, Heimer will sort of flood the market a little bit and they'll become a bit too common, which means to say they won't have that quite that, you know, appeal. So you better go down the road and get one down there and it just might knock the prices a bit. Um, as I say, it all feels solid. It's very practical it's great for sticking in your garage because obviously you can take the pop top down and you can probably pop this in your garage as well in most modern garages um, it's also got, ooh, that, got a bit of kitchen bit there didn't see that extension cable there you go um, Ariba's I think you've got to like them I think some people think they're really funky and I think that does help sell them and, and I think also the, the fact is that they are well made and they have this appeal, aren't they? They've got this sort of thing that, a bit like VW up to a point, I suppose. Um, let's get out. Oh, I must have forget my... Just bang my head. Typical, isn't it? Um, but everything is, is very nicely finished off. Uh, the outside, it looks good. They tow very well. Uh, that there could be no doubt they're on Alco chassis of course got that extra long drawbar at the front and the Ariba Touring 542 it's got a 1400 kilogram empty PLM so it's not exactly lightweight so you won't be buying this because it's a lightweight van um, and obviously that's down to construction as well because obviously it's very well made and that adds weight you can't really do away with weight and and keep your strength uh, in the body um, yeah I think for those people who want such a thing it'll, it'll you know it's fine uh, and again it's a certain person that buys them uh, again how uh, it'll do for resale values uh, in later on because I say there's quite a few dealers I know have got them and at one time there was only usually one or two dealers in the country but 
for 32 and a, for just a, nearly 33,000 quid. What do you people think? Do you think it's worth it? What do I think? Does it really matter what I think? I'm not buying it. No, I think that's the price you pay for something of that nature. And wouldn't it be good if a UK manufacturer came up with something very similar? Oh, we might, we might see it one day, you never know. But, you can't beat the fact is that Arivas have a strong following. And again, they will command a good used price at the present. We shall see how that goes on. Thanks for watching. I'm at South Cave, uh, Wonder Home at South Cave. Been coming here for, oh God, since the 80s. Used to be Marden dealers, Avondale and people like that. Uh, now the Swift and Bailey, they used to be Lunas and Heimers of course. Um, and they do a, a good dealer, dealer special too, based on the uh, on the Sprite range. Anyway, enough of that twaddle. Uh, please keep watching, please keep subscribing. And thank you for all your comments. And yeah, go and buy some new books, please. Go and buy some of the books. I'll see you on the next video.